How is this problem like an inside joke? And can we get in on the joke? Absolutely we can. This actually is a very funny joke. I think it's very funny anyway. The absolute value of 3x minus 7 as a quantity, that's the part here in the bars, plus 4 is less than or equal to 4. And of course, our job is solve for x. The first thing we want to recognize here is what is absolute value? Absolute value represents distance on the number line. And since distance is almost always positive, absolute value is almost always positive. Now, the first thing you should think when I say almost always positive is, hold on a second, when is absolute value not positive? Because that's actually exactly what's coming into play for this particular inequality. If absolute value represents distance, then right now the distance from me to you is three feet, let's say. Treat those eyes right, kids, hold the phone away. If I asked you for that distance, it would be weird if you said, oh, we're negative three feet away. No, I might be three feet in front of you, you might be three feet to my left or something. That is, distance can definitely be direct but we wouldn't typically represent it with a negative. But there is one distance we would represent that wouldn't be positive. That is the distance of zero itself. How far away is 10 from 10 on the number line? Well, it's zero units away because 10 is 10. Zero is not a positive number, and so it is possible that an absolute value could return zero and therefore not be positive. That's actually exactly what we need here because we have some quantity. It doesn't even matter what it is. Ignore it for a second. Some quantity plus four is less than or equal to four. If we subtract that four from both sides of the inequality right now, we can get a better sense of what this must mean. Whatever is behind this blank right now on its own must be less than or equal to zero. But again, it was an absolute value. It can't possibly be negative, so the only way this can be true is if it is zero. And the only quantity we can take the absolute value of and get zero back is zero itself. So this expression inside the absolute value bars, we're interested in where does this equal zero. 3x minus 7 will be zero, where 3x itself is 7, and then dividing by 3 on both sides of this, we get our solution. This inequality will be true, where x equals 7 thirds. You can plug that 7 thirds in all the way back up at the beginning, and you can verify that this does actually work. 3 times 7 thirds is 7, that's the whole point of having the 3 in the denominator. 7 minus 7 is 0, and the absolute value of zero is zero. So what we end up with here is zero plus four is less than or equal to four, which is true, right? Four is less than or equal to four because it is equal to four.